Hey everyone, we're going to be doing some Crimson Fleet quest today for Starfield, I guess. You said the take was 10k, but it was 30. Big difference on 40% of 10 versus 30. You wanted 4k, you got Thought you wouldn't get caught? Not my problem. It's time to pay up. If you're stealing One me, way you or another. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot I killed a bunch of them when I was exploring. Way to make a mess in front of my new rook. Hey, next time, think before you betray your Better off dead. Sounds like you did the fleet a favor. Now toss this body out of an airlock before it turns into a damn air freshener. The hell took you so long? Forget how to grab jump or something? I went to do shattered space. Sorry to keep you waiting. Never apologize. Not if you want anyone in the fleet to respect you. And if they don't respect you, put a gun to their head and they'll get the message. But all that aside, you made it. So now you get to hear a nifty history lesson. Pencils ready? Good. This floating scrap heap you're standing on is called the Keep. Used to be an old UC military star station and now it's the fleet's base of operations. Might look a little beat up on the outside, but we keep it together. Hell yeah, it is. Just watch it back when you do. Cred sticks tend to disappear around here, if you catch my meaning. Assuming we are using this same abbreviation, I must disagree. I find this neither restful nor relaxing. Anyway, I'll tell you all about the key, but it's better if I show you too. Follow me. All right, history time. So, the key is in orbit around Suvorov. That's the very same ice ball where the United Colonies built a supermax prison they call the Lock. The UC is so clever. Supermax prison, Lock, key. Oh, cute, huh? Now, we've got everything the fleet needs right here. Of course, you've got to pay for it. Remember, on the key, credits are king. What the hell is this? All right, all right, hang on, Nev. Before you get pissed, I've got my hands full. Jasmine, sweetie, I'm trying to give a tour here. So you want to tell me why those damn doors are sealed? It's called a malfunction. You know, that thing I spend most of my day dealing with. Believe me, my people are on it. Have a little faith for once. Aw. And you always, Angel. This here is Jasmine. You need anything for your ship? She's got you covered. We'll hit up the depot next since these doors have given out on us. So anyway, we were talking about the lock. About a hundred years ago, the prisoners down there rioted and took over the place. After stealing some ships, they were actually able to make it up here and took over the key. About time you brought us new blood, Neva. I was getting tired of trading with the same old faces. You're just ticked everyone's getting wise to your ridiculous prices, Aludra. Anyway, welcome to the depot, Rook, where you'll be lucky if these blood-sucking leeches don't bleed you completely dry. Whoa, whoa. It's not our fault that people don't appreciate how much it costs to get untraceable merchandise onto the key. Neva's just whining because she thinks she lost a ton of cash selling us a shipment of gear. She should have done her homework. Yeah, sure, laugh it up. I remember that next time I need something from you cheapskates. Let's move on. <clears throat> Back to my story. After the liberated prisoners grabbed the key, they established it as a base of operations and began pirating the spaceways. That was how the Crimson Fleet began. Of course, Jasper Crix had a lot to do with all that, but uh, we'll get to him later. Rook, meet Zuri. Queen of the rare exports. If I don't have it, you don't need it. Neuroamps, blueprints, 
Hit her up and she'll take care of you. Speaking of which, you still owe me for that last purchase, Neva. It's like five figures. Don't make me collect it the hard way. <laughs> the hard way? Oh no. Rook, protect me from Zuri's vengeance. Enough of the bullshit, Zuri. I'll pay you when I pay you. Deal with it. Got a problem with that? Take it up with the boss. Don't even try right, to rip me off. Got Bradley from the I trade value authority. when I see it. I'm sure you know the deal there. He'll buy pretty much anything, no matter how hot. Then we got our med bay on the left, run by the one and only Samina Mizra. She'll patch you up, if you've got the money. We don't run any free clinics up in here, you don't? Okay, this is our final stop. Over there, you've got the last Nova. Where I like this place more than uh, the city. And right here is the most important place on the entire station. The Reckoner's Corps, run by the incomparable Shinya Voss. Another new rook, Neva? I can't believe Delgado still lets you recruit, given what happened with the last one. You mean Austin Ray? It's been taken care of, all right? I don't like loose ends, and this rook is the one who tied it off. Perhaps next time you'll try to be a bit more discerning regarding your choices. It's far more cost-effective. Yeah, yeah, love you too, darling. Anyway, Shinya handles our lifeblood. The money. We call him our Reckoner, but if you ask me, he's actually a pain in the ass. And Neva will slit your throat if she thinks you'll bleed creds. Go to hell, boss. Take care of our new friend here, or I'll find a way to pull the pin on that little party popper in your chest. Anyway, Shinya will get you set up in our system. I've got real work to do. Once you're done, head upstairs and I'll introduce you to the boss. Time for a proper introduction. I am Shinya Voss, the official reckoner for the Crimson Fleet. And since Neva so thoughtfully mentioned it, yes, this is a bomb embedded in my chest. And no, I'll never know the meaning of the word humble. In fact, I find Delgado's idea of a security measure to be quite empowering. Glad you approve. Obviously, betrayal isn't taken lightly around here. Since I oversee the bulk of transactions and maintain all accounts for the fleet, I'm a prime target for information. Should our enemies capture me or I grew any semblance of a moral conscience, you might consider Dude, me just the just wrap greatest it up. threat we have. Damn. For Delgado, the bomb grants peace of mind and the... I don't care about the bomb anymore, honestly. It's been over five years since I've stepped off the key. Leaving this place puts far too much at risk. But now, he like... It sounds like he's set up. falling asleep while he's talking. And it's so slow when they talk, like... Neva's fine. I can interface directly. They sound like they're all falling asleep or something, or they're tired. This me to move and clean credits faster and more efficiently than any run-of-the-mill cyber runner. There, you're done. All you need now is Delgado's blessing, and you'll be one of us. Yes. About time you shut up and listened. Thanks to our relations with contacts across the galaxy, we always have a steady stream of jobs available. I've granted you all the necessary permissions to access these listings at any time using the computers that surround the core. If Neva's chosen wisely, we certainly will. Now, I believe that covers all I have to say. So you can run along to Delgado. Take the elevator to the upper level. You should be able to find your way from there, I hope. Okay, his voice sounds off. Sounds weird. Better get a move on ah, before Dale sees you our slacking. Other new recruit. So, now that we are all here, it's time to get down to business. The two of you are the only rooks that have made the latest cut. The rest, well, let's just say they won't be joining us ever again. 
Neighbor's willing to put her neck on the line and vouch for you. Which means you've got what it takes to join the Crimson Fleet. You'd better not disappoint, or you'll find yourself answering to me, personally. All right, let's get started here. When you sign up with the Crimson Fleet, you're in it for the long haul. No one quits. No one retires. The only way out is death. You stay loyal, or you pay the consequences. Fleet before friends. Fleet before family. Fleet before yourself. Boss. <laughs> Good. You're getting it already. I like that. Can we get on with this? I want to get drunk at the last Nova. I'm impressed. That is the first intelligent thing you have said this entire time, Mathis. Since you two seem so eager to move forward, let's get to your next job. Pack your cold weather gear, Rooks. Where we are going, you're going to need it. Oh, God, don't tell me you're dragging him down to Suvaral for another one of your little initiation runs. Ten Johns to the surface, twelve dead Rooks. You'd think by now you would have given up on that goddamn campfire story. Crix's legacy is no story, neighbor. We've got fresh eyes in the fleet. And if these two want to impress, they're going to help me search those ruins. I hope you're right, Dale. That new code we grabbed for the lot cost us a ton of credits. And a decent captain. This initiation, as Neva calls it, is your chance to see where it all began. On Suvorov with Jasper Griggs. Griggs led the riots that gave birth to the Crimson Fleet. And if his legacy is still out there, we're going to be the ones to find it. Before Crix left the fleet, he left a message talking about a major score. One that would set up the fleet to be a big player in the settled systems. Somewhere down the line, they started calling it Crix's legacy. And everyone who's tried to find it has wound up empty-handed, missing, or dead. If we're gonna beat those odds, we'll first need a lead. And I would wager we will find one on Suvorov. Dale's leaving out the best part. That this whole search is based on a handful of words on a very old slate. Crix left a lot of big talk on that recording. And not a lot of facts. Some of us believe in it more than others. <laughs> Don't listen to her. When we get our hands on Crix's legacy, the fleet will be operating at a completely different level. We will become more than a match for UC Sistef. Yeah, let's just get on with it, dude. Sounds like someone wants to get down to business. Okay, enough discussion. We have got a lot of work to do. To that end, the next stop is the lock. I've had Jazz feed the coordinates into your ship's computer. Since Mathis doesn't have a ship, he's going to ride with me. I'll see you down there, Rook. Don't keep me waiting. All right, let's go down. Uh, he's wearing Miranda's outfit. Oh yeah, she's cold here. That's a cool ship, isn't it? There's one thing I'll say about this game is the ship builder is cool. The environments look good. Everything else though, yeah. Um. About time you got here. I told you you were wasting your time, Dell. That is why we're here. And Mathis, I am running things around here, so keep your mouth shut. You got that? <laughs> Fine. All right. Listen up, because that I guy's only pissy. want to go through this once. We are here to dig up any info about Griggs's legacy. We are not here to scrap for loot. Whatever you pick up, don't think, don't get creative. Bring it straight to me. It's so simple, even a rook like you can't screw it up. Hold on, no scrapping. How the hell am I supposed to make money around here? All right, that's enough. If either of you want to fly with the Crimson Fleet, then you need to follow one simple rule. When you're on a job, you do exactly what I say. No questions asked. If that doesn't work for you, just say so, and I will leave you on this ice ball without a ship. You will be dead within hours. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, keep talking, wise ass. Throttle it down, both of you, right now. Oh, and there's one more thing. Your little friend can tag along until we get to the outer doors of the prison, but I will be damned if I'm letting them inside. Fine, fine, go on, leave me. Just be sure and thaw me out when you return. We have a lot of ground to cover between the landing area and the lock, so let's get moving. How cold is it? Um, protection regen, frig off. I'm trying to figure out how cold it is. What? Hold up, I heard a sound. Okay, it's minus 53. Celsius or Fahrenheit, it's probably the same. I know at minus 40, it's the same either way. But you guys are kind of weird with your Fahrenheit. You know, I was thinking about this. I don't think all pirates would be like, um, Castillo there. I think a lot of them be like Delgado, just like snarky, but not evil, you know. It also makes sense to be a lot more pirates than you see. where Jasper Griggs laid the groundwork for finding the legacy and eventually the Crimson Fleet. The lock. Yeah, he needs to get this thing open like right now. It's freezing out here. Then crank up your suit heat, Mathis, because it's probably not going to get much better once we are inside. All right, let's keep moving. Standing out here isn't doing us any good. This ID card cost a small fortune. Let's hope it pays off. <laughs> we are in. Let's go. Yeah, I'd probably be freezing here. I've been inside this part of the lock, so keep your eyes open. See anything unusual? Probably it's not. still cold here. Still freaking cold. The prisoners got fed up and looked to Crix to lead them out of here. And that's how the Crimson Fleet began. Yeah, yeah, we've all heard the story. It's not a story, Mathis. It's history. Remember that. Now, keep your mouth shut and your eyes open.
You know, the game does look good, though, you know. I've said that a few times, but... It's amazing what they managed to accomplish. For all of its faults, though. It's not exactly a space simulator, but it's a good-looking space game. Wait, why is there Tracker's Alliance stuff here? That's weird. The heck? crawling all over the place. Yeah, and their bodies probably heard us firing from about a kilometer away. Hallelujah. If we weren't on this job with Delgado, I'd drop you for saying that. Enough already. I should have known better than to bring both of you at the same time. Now let's see. Looks like we are inside some sort of prisoner transfer area, but everything is locked down tight. Since you are such good friends, why don't you and Mathis head up to that control room and see if you can get some more of these doors open? Me and my best friend Mathis, who will probably betray me in this mission. The whole roof's coming down! Damn it. This is just great. The hell are we supposed to do now? Uh, hello, Wall. Whew, yeah. <laughs> You're right. Now that I think about it, this gives me an idea. A, a way we could turn this situation to our advantage. We use this opportunity to take out Delgado, and at the same time, make some serious credits for ourselves. Dude, are you crazy? Whoa, whoa, hang on. G g give me a second to explain. Let's pretend for a second Delgado's correct. And there's information here about Crix's legacy. Once we get rid of him, we'll dig up the garbage ourselves and sell whatever we find to Neva. We'll be rolling in credits. Oh, fine. So, you know, for a second there, I was almost starting to respect you. Now, let's find a way out of here. You got it, pile of rubble. <laughs> I guess that's one way through. I gotta find a good uh, caseless shotgun. Oh, one of the coachmans, maybe. Hello. A hundred years old. Hello. It's Come amazing on, this entire place has collapsed by now. Yeah, bro, just chill. Brush the dust off and listen up. We have obviously been cut off, so I need you to do two things. First, 
I want you to keep looking for a way to open the rest of the doors down here. Otherwise, I'm not going anywhere. And second, try and dig up whatever you can about Jasper Griggs. You both got that? Yeah? You'd better. And tell Mathis not to get any bright ideas, or I will gut him myself. Too late. He already had a bad idea. UC guard. How long has the UC been around? Need for a space heater and a hot tub of bogs right now. <sighs> it's actually about zero here where I am. Celsius, not Fahrenheit. So it's cold, but not too cold. Power. That's how that's how warm it is here right now. That's funny. I was just saying that. Huh. What's that over there? It's Looks kind of cell. cell block. Yeah, cell block. Big bang, hey? Okay, it's like an energy shotgun. I hope we get Fallout 5 sometime soon, you know? Like, maybe in the next, like, six years. That'd be nice, but... Elder Scrolls 6 is in development, so that's good too, I, I suppose. I suppose Bethesda figured this would hold people over till then. Got my uh, Dragonborn powers for some reason. No, oh, it's pretty buggy. Not like crash buggy, but just like weird stuff, yeah. I don't, I don't mean to harp on the game, like it's pretty amazing what they accomplished, but with a lot of misses and L's. Not, a, not, they must have not been listening to, you know, critique. Oh, it's just him. I don't think I have an Orion. Thing stuck in the wall. I'm gonna wipe the floor. You know the field of here. Okay, that's better. Hey, hey, my FOV was at 94. Oh, that's weird. At 80 now. What the heck is that? It's like a some weird like mushroom alien. Okay, so we gotta get up there.
Door prices. Where is a key, hey? Where would that key be? Prison scrubs? Where are those later? They aren't paying us enough to be poking through this scrappy. Yeah, I guess that's it. It's just a bathroom, dude. It's gonna leave him hard. <laughs> He's down again. Here, eh? oh. I guess we gotta find a terminal. What'd that be? <laughs> oh, that's the easy way. This is technically a shotgun. So do we already oh, what's this? It's the Count of Monte Cristo. Book that I never read, but I have watched the movie and I love it. The newer one, not the old one. Actually, I actually haven't seen the old one. You know what I'm talking about? Like the one with um Jim what's his face? And uh Guy Pierce. That's what I'm talking about. However, I do want to watch the old so, one. Have you changed your mind yet? Yeah, well, too bad. We're talking. So spit it out. You saw it back there. Those things, whatever they were, they've probably ripped him to shreds by now. Did the job for us. And if they haven't, we can still handle the job. We just have to get our hands a little dirty. Wouldn't be the first time, am I right? Of all the people to get trapped here, Fine, have it your way. So, now that we've made it to the guard tower, what's our next move, genius? Keep doing what we've been doing. Right. <laughs> Glad I asked. I suppose we should start off by searching the tower for the location of Crix's cell. If he stashed any useful information, it might still be hidden somewhere inside. As I was doing before you interrupted me,
It's so nice to have a dark mode screen. Oh my god. Uh, D02106. Cell D03118. Okay. Place to start, I guess. So, master lock. And this is it. Some gray item. You know, they should make sure that there's good loot behind hard locks. Like, it's just completely randomized. Now, this has been a problem forever for them, but... for magazines always. Alright, so we unlocked a few cell blocks. Oh, what happened here? Orange juice, yum. A really old orange juice that's probably frozen. It goes on for a while. So it's somewhere over here. Open with the computer. Yeah, I gotta find that computer where would that be would there be like wiring to follow so d2 106 all right I'm just gonna head out this way and see if we can find something I don't know what he's shooting at but it's his problem I'll show you what the crimson fleet's made of Okay, Carter. Confirming that the 
latest code to the utility room is 48611071. The mining crew tells me it'll take them a week to cut through the ice, so I'm giving you that long to square your end of the plan. When the tunnel reaches the armory, I'll get my people to start a riot. When you hear the fireworks go off, get your ass to the shuttle bay. We get one shot at this. If we play our cards right, this gets us one step closer to that fortune that went down with the legacy. You report any of this to the guards. Well, you know what'll happen. Optional on... What's his name? If we get out of here, remind me to thank Delgado for hanging us out to dry. Dude, I don't think you're getting out of here alive. You're probably gonna try and double cross me or kill me. Cleared this place out. Well, well, what do we have here? Uh, give me a sec. This sort of come in handy. What's he got there? All right, let's keep moving. Looks like a make sure. This place got cleared out. It's like they almost took everything. Space trucker hat. That's what I've always wanted. Dreams are fulfilled. Fulfilled. Oh, that's actually a decent haul. I thought we were going to be doing something fun, like rob a bank or something. What? Rob a bank? You think it's like the Wild West? You hear that? 
it. Ah, never mind. This place is starting to get to me. So many guns. Can you imagine how angry the Bridger? prisoners were when they rioted? I would hate to have been one of the guards. Okay, this is 11 millimeter. There's so many ammo types in this game, it's kind of hard to keep track of. I think they might have put in too many guns, you know? Just sift through a bunch of alien corpses. They all died like sleeping or what it look like. Looks like they're trying to hold the line or something. I'll be from the, the aliens. I don't think the prisoners would have given them that much trouble. I can't imagine being stuffed down here in rot. Poor bastards. Looks like this was the warden's office. They built the office right next to the shuttle bay for a quick escape like that. Smart. Carajos took you so long. Pick up on the intercom. Do you have any idea how long I have been waiting? Use the intercom. We need to talk. I hope you found something because I am getting sick and tired of this place. I do it. Everyone said I was out of my mind, but something told me we'd find the answers down here. Looks like I picked the right person for the job. Hey, what the hell? This is bullshit, Delgado. I help plenty. Is that madness? Tell him to shut up. I will deal with him later. Whatever. <laughs> okay. Now all we have to do is find a way off of this planet. Um, let me see. Ah, uh, here we go. I'm looking at schematics for the lock. And I don't... I think there's a way to get you back to the surface from there. But I can open the outer doors to the shuttle bay and let you fly one of the shuttles down there directly up to the key. Good answer. You're learning fast. Okay. Let me see. One of these probably opens the door. Shuttle bay activated. Initiating the icing process. Please stand by. Yup. That's got it. I take a while, though. Those bay doors have not been opened in almost a century. You have done a hell of a job, Rook. We will talk when you get back to the key. Oh, God, was he not? Why the hell did you lie to Delgado about me? You didn't do all this work alone. Hey, come on. I was just looking out for both of us. I could have caught you out of the deal, but I didn't, right? 
Look, um, about all that killing Delgado stuff, why don't we just forget about everything that I said? You know, like it never happened. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> now, let's get the heck out of here. Okay. Anything else here? Oh, there's the exit. Okay. I feel like they want me to get out. <laughs> oh wait, am I supposed to go out that way? Give me two objectives. Oh, that's the, the optional thing. There a um ramp? Oh my god, look at that. I think it's time to go. Hey, where's the stupid ramp at? Oh, there it is. Here too. There you are. The hell took you so long? It's about time. Not whoa, 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 what? Well, what is going on? Found something. What is going on? What is going on with this game? It does, uh... That's it. Just one slate. After losing so much of our crew, it better be a map with a big red X on it. Well, I'll be damned. Legacy wasn't referring to Crix's fortune. It's the name of an actual ship. A gal bank transport probably loaded with credits. Never heard any stories about a gal bank ship going down. <laughs> That's so floppy. If it had happened, it would have been picked clean years ago. No, neighbor. Think. If gal bank covered it up, and over time, the location was eventually forgotten, it wouldn't be on anyone's radar. Okay, this changes things. Now that we know what we are looking for, we have to narrow the search. 
And the recording that you found proves that it is out there. All we have to do is find it. Let us start with what we know. It was a Galbag ship, which means the company is going to have records of where it went down. Neva, weren't you working on a deal with Rokov? Something about a big wig charity event on one of Trident Starliners? Are you serious? I've been working on that gig for three months. That's my score. Ay, Dios mío. Will you shut up about your score and think for a second? That Starliner has a Galbank VIP suite aboard, which means... Come on, Neva. This isn't hard. Which means a Galbank exec will be aboard. We grab their credentials and get ourselves into the Galbank archives in New Atlantis. Holy shit, that might actually work. I'll send a message to Rokov right away. Pack your bags, Rook. You're going on vacation. And since you've earned it, take this gun with you. Might come in handy when Rokov screws everything up as usual. Ooh, heel holler. Good, because that is exactly. I feel like they're talking good. down to me right now. Neva and I are too well known to walk around the Starliner without being recognized. If Trident Security spotted us, it'd be over. I need you to board that ship, make contact with Rokov, and get me those credentials. You'd better. Oh, before you leave, I wanted you to know that I took what you said about Mathis into consideration, and I've decided to cut him from the fleet. Honestly, I'm surprised he made it off Suvorov in one piece. We'll see. That's it then. Next stop for you is Rokov Starliner, the Siren of the Stars. And remember, Rokov does not need to know anything about Griggs's legacy. For now, it's just between us. Now get out of here. Hey, Rook. Before you head out, I need to have a word with you. Meet me at the last Nova after you wrap things up with Mathis. <laughs> Jesus, this game. Uh, where's Mathis? Down here. Hey, I want to talk to you. Thanks to you, Delgado's cut me from the fleet. Well, you know what? You better get your own fleet, because I'm coming after you. I stayed to give you a message that you better start looking over your shoulder. You'll never know when I'll be right behind you, ready to pull the trigger. <laughs> if you mean to ambush us, telling us ahead of time makes it much more difficult. <laughs> did, did you not think this through? Now get the hell out of me way! Need something? Fire bar. Maybe. We haven't decided. Business up with Mathis, then we'll talk. I did. Well, it's just we were thinking. Why is it every time we go out and do a job, it's you who ends up with all our friends? My friend's got a point bug. Every pirate in this joint comes to the noble. Wrap your business up with. Bro, I did. Okay. This me, then we'll talk. Trawling deep space for stick change. Wrap your business up with math. This target. then we'll talk. Right here we go. Got mixed feelings about my last job. Is this bugged out? Stealing from each other is just what you call a professional courtesy. Wrap your business up with Mathis, then we'll talk. There you are. All right, look. I've been lining up a score with that asshole Rokoff on the Siren of the Stars for months. I'm not about to let a payday slip through my fingers. So guess what? You're gonna finish the job for me.
I'm about to tell you, so shut up and listen. Rokov's been tipping me off about some kind of bullshit charity event that the Siren of the Stars is hosting. At the event, they're gonna give away something called the Earth Savior Award, which is worth tens of thousands of credits. So it's simple. While you're on the Siren, swiping those Gal Bank credentials, I want you to grab that award and bring it to me. From the pictures I've seen, the award is set with 12 blue diamonds and covered in gold filigree. If I get Jazz to take it apart, I can turn it into a hell of a lot of cash. And best of all, the components become untraceable. And I'd prefer to have the money that award's worth in my account. So you're just gonna have to deal with it. Look, you can make all the jokes and excuses you want. But if you don't come back with the ES award, I'm gonna deduct it from your pay. Either way, I get my money. How much you walk away with is in your own hands. Got it? I suppose it is up to you to decide whether it is worth it. Then it's settled. Good. All right, Rook, we're done here. Now, get your ass to the siren and bring me my goods. Good luck. All right, let's head back to my ship. All right, guys, that's it for this quest. Uh, well, we'll do another video on the next one if you want. Hope you guys had a good time. I had a good time in the prison. That was a lot of fun. But uh, conversations are way too long. They talk too slow. But I've said this many times in the past. So anyways, I'll see you guys later and have a great one.